Hello everybody, this is Chris from the Star Wars Underworld and I am reporting from Alcon 2013 in Dallas, Texas. And I'm here with Trey Stokes, the director and writer of the Pink Five Saga. How are you doing? Are you enjoying the con so far? I really am. This is a great one. This is really fun. How about you? Oh man, this has been amazing. Um, it's a pretty big con. I was, I was, yeah. Oh, it's bigger than it's bigger than I, I didn't know what size it was going to be. You know, it's bigger than I was kind of thinking I was. I, it's really quite something. Yeah, a great place to premiere a film, maybe. Yeah, it's a pretty good place to premiere a film that uh, this kind of audience might enjoy. <laughs> that was kind of the plan. Yes, indeed. So, uh, for people not familiar with Pink Five, do you just want to tell everybody a little bit about what it is and how you came up with the idea? I came up with the idea because a friend of mine had a helmet. That's that's all it came from. I was like, I should make a movie with this helmet. This is a nice helmet. Um, it's basically the story of a character from uh, our, our version of a character from uh, the Star Wars series that uh, somehow got cut out. Apparently, she was actually quite important to the story, uh, but for some reason, you 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 don't know that she existed. But uh, she actually was very vital to the whole story. Yeah, and of course, through this, you find out how vital she was. Yeah, there's, uh, we, there's a lot of uh, unanswered questions in the original Star Wars trilogy, and we tried to answer some of those. Yeah, definitely. So uh, you made the first Pink Five over 10 years ago, and uh, since then, there's been many sequels. Quite <laughs> a few. Yeah. And uh, you've finally gotten the chance to make the final version. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the fan community and how it helped you make the final version? Well, they, the fan community has been part of it since almost the beginning. The very first one was literally me and Amy and a blue screen. That was it. Um, just something we did together. But that became so popular that people started to approach us and say, if you ever make any more of those, we'd like to help out. So if you see, if you watch the series, you can see suddenly we have a, a full R2-D2 unit. We have Darth Vader. We have, you know, we ended up with pretty much every major character. But all, all that was from fans who said, I'd love to come and help out if you make more of those. And we, you know, worked both ways. We said, well, if you have that costume, we'll, we'll find a way to put you in. So, so that was always part of the process. And then when we uh, got to the last one, uh, it was just a matter of, well, we really like to do a really big finale, but that's, that's really going to cost like actual money to really do that. So, so we, fortunately, there's now this thing called Kickstarter, and uh, so we tried a Kickstarter project, and that, and the fans really came out for us and, and helped us, and now we have, now we have the final chapter, almost complete. Or is it the final chapter? It, well, there, there may be more. We actually did say that there's, we have, uh, we have one sort of a bonus episode in mind that we we have that's not that's not available yet but uh, right now we just want to finish the saga as it was and then there might be a bonus episode later so. you never know so you said before this first time that you showed people were you nervous at all oh yeah absolutely it's uh, you're always nervous you know you never know sitting sitting looking at it you know, you look at the thing day after day after day after day it's like it's not funny it's not funny to me anymore I'm you know I'm just, come on around there this uh, it's not you know I, I all the jokes are old to me so you know it's really great to be able to see it with an audience that doesn't know the jokes and find out that they actually are still funny that's good to know and also it, it's you know, if, you, if you've seen the Pink Five series, you know that it, it becomes less and less about the jokes and it becomes more and more about telling an actual story about what, what this character was up to. So it's also, you know, are people actually excited when they're supposed to be excited? Are they, are they scared for her when, you know, it's supposed to be scary? So we're trying to turn it into something like a real movie, which is even the harder, I think. That jokes are a little easier than telling a story that people actually get involved in. So. Yeah. So that was the thing is to find out, you know, do people, you can tell when you have a whole audience, you can kind of tell when someone's getting restless, you know, they start sort of shuffling in their seats and you go, oh, maybe this part's not working so much. So that, that was the scary part. So overall, was the fan reaction to this what you had anticipated? I, I don't, I don't know what I was anticipating, but I'm glad of the reaction we got. <laughs> whatever, whatever my anticipation was, we, we got the reaction I was certainly, I'm happy to, that we got. because. I mean, you tell me. We were, you were in the audience, weren't you? you? Yeah, I was, and I thought the reaction was pretty good. I mean, uh, good. A, lot, a, lot, a lot of funny scenes that people laughed at. Um, people were definitely tense in a few scenes. So, yeah, I think you, I think you did what you wanted. Yeah, we got some got some applause at some appropriate moments, which I thought was good. There, there was actually there was, a, there was a big applause moment, which I didn't realize was going to be a big applause moment, but that was especially gratifying. I didn't, I didn't expect that. It's kind of a it's kind of a sad moment, and it got a lot of applause. I wasn't sure how to interpret that, but hey, as long as people are into it, then that's fine. Of course, we can't talk too much about it, obviously. Yeah. But um, uh, do you have any idea when this is going to come out? When people can watch this? It's 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 still hard. You, you might want to talk to Dutch about that, for example, because Dutch is Dutch is kind of in Ch Dutch and Kathy, or who put this together and brought us out here and arranged all this, and of course that's fantastic. Um, 
the, you know, they, this is our first test of, of screening Pink 5 at a convention also, you know, just this whole idea of showing the series and to see what the general reaction is. We'd, I'd really like to, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get the opportunity to do a few more of these, because we really learned so much by doing this. Um, it really helps us put the final polish on everything. So I, I can't really set a date yet as far as, you know, an online release or anything like that. We're, I mean, it's obviously we're close. And it's really just a matter of how many more of these we feel like doing before we, uh, but then at some point we'll, we'll call it done and when, as soon as it's done it'll go online. Awesome, so uh, where can people go to get more information about it? Well, anytime there's an update, uh, we have pink5.com, P-I-N-K-F-I-V-E, not the number, the word. Um, and we have a frequently asked questions page and that's whatever the latest info is, it's going to be there. They'll, we'll have announcements on the front page of what's going on and, you know, so whenever there's something new to report, it'll be at pink5.com. Awesome, thanks so much. Well, thank you. So make sure you guys check that out, pink5.com, and of course uh, check out starwarsunderworld.com for more updates from AllCon 2013. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.